First, we're going to start here with hardly anyone trusts the media anymore. People value accuracy, timeliness, and clarity above all else. Only 6% of people say they have a great deal of confidence in the press, about the same level of trust Americans have in Congress. That being said, we're going to go ahead and look at some headlines and see if we can't see if there's something wicked coming this way. Here we go back to September 30th, 2015. Obama puts U.S. on fast track to world government, literally just one crisis away from that happening. We come down here to the United Nations 2030 agenda endorsed by President Obama. Pope Francis and the UN General Assembly brings the world one giant step closer to true global governance. The UN document approved Sunday in New York, transforming our world, the 2030 agenda for sustainable development, includes in its preamble the call for a new universal agenda for all of humanity. But one big question looms. How does such an ambitious plan get implemented? The plan bypasses Congress and the legislatures of the world's other 193 nations, yet the heads of state agreed to work toward implementation, largely through secret trade deals and backroom bureaucratic rulemaking. Very few members of Congress have likely even read the UN document that Obama has agreed to implement, says one expert in globalism. Right? Interesting. Let's go here. Here we have Obama administration and UN announced global police force to fight extremism in U.S. This was on October 2, 2015. On Wednesday, Attorney General Loretta Lynch announced at the United Nations that her office would be working in several American cities to form what she called the Strong Cities Network, a law enforcement initiative that would encompass the globe. This amounts to nothing less than the overriding of American laws, up to and including the United States Constitution, in favor of United Nations laws that would henceforth be implemented in the United States itself, without any consultation of Congress at all. The United Nations is a Sharia-compliant world body, and Obama, speaking there just days ago, insisted that violent extremism is not exclusive to Islam. Then, moving over here, we see, on April 13th, why thousands of millionaires are fleeing Chicago and other major cities around the world. The leader fleeing major cities around the globe at a staggering rate. In fact, the Chicago Tribune is reporting that approximately 3,000 millionaires left the city of Chicago alone during 2015. It goes on to say, it is true that some of these millionaires are moving for tax reasons, but many others are quite concerned that humanity is hurtling toward a deeply apocalyptic future, and they want to get prepared for what is about to happen. And then you're like, okay, well, Crazy Pepper's right, but then we move here. Here, April 20th, report, authorities buying more riot control gear over fear of civil unrest sweeping America. Makers of riot control products are seeing increased demand from law enforcement bodies across America who fear Ferguson-style civil unrest hitting other areas of the country. Down here, it says, as we highlighted earlier this week, top insurer Lloyds released a report that warned of a pandemic of global civil unrest that could go viral, threatening international stability. The ultra-wealthy are highly concerned about civil unrest and have made moves to prepare for social disorder. Then we come here. Here we are at Business Wire, a Berkshire Hathaway company, which belongs to Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in the world, by the way. It says global riot control system market to exceed $5 billion by 2020. This was April 20th, 2016, out of London. And it goes on to say the U.S. is the largest defense spender as well as defense goods exporter and accounts for 31% of the global deals. It goes on to say the militarization of the police department and other law enforcement agencies in the Americas has encouraged the use of advanced riot control equipment. The disputed circumstances of the shooting of an unarmed 18-year-old heightened existing protests and civil unrest in Ferguson, Missouri in 2014. This is a classic example of an incident where the agencies used rifles and heavy vehicles to control the crowd and protesters. It goes on and on. And these articles will all be linked, but we are playing right into the globalist hands. They're literally getting rich, selling the equipment to go after us as we fight each other when we're all in it together. So I don't know what's coming, but as you see, there's some evidence there that things are being set for a globalist agenda. I don't even know how I feel about that exactly. I wish it'd be put on the table and we could all have a discussion, but literally they don't care what 
the average Joe has to say. I hope you look at the stuff that you research it yourself. And I hope it makes you go, hmm, that's interesting.